So what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. So today I got my fifth wheel. I got my truck. We got the 2019 Ram 3500 2019 Keystone Cougar. And today we are going to install a BAL hide a spare. Now my spare tire is in the front of my fifth wheel. And if you know, when you go, when you go camping, you need as much space as you can get. So I want to move that spare tire on the bottom of the fifth wheel. That way I can gain a little bit more space in my fifth wheel. So let's go ahead and get started. I got my boy Mikey P with me. And we're gonna get this done. It's early in the morning. I am so tired. I don't feel like doing this, but I gotta do it for you guys. Gotta do it for the blog. Let's go. Unfortunately, this BLL company does not give you any of your hardware except just to mount your spare tire on the bottom. So here's what I use. You can use shorter screws if you want to, but I just want to go a little bit longer just in case. So I use a 5 16 18 by 2. And this is kind of like what I'm gonna do here. I got two washers and I got a lock um, ring here too and I'm basically going to just hold it in. I'm going to try to use as many of the mounting points as I can. I'm going to show you guys uh, the BL high to spare in a second here. So like I said, I just want to show you the screws that you're going to need because they do not give these to you with this package. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is you have these little nails that, that hold up this enclosed underbody. And what you want to do is you want to kind of look through here and make sure that you don't have anything that's going to block you. So I got my flashlight on. Oh snap, there's a few things on this side I did not account for. But we're still good though. I can mount it. I can mount about right here. It's got to be careful not to hit this stuff. But for the most part, we should be good to go. This is a perfect mounting spot for it. I can see the other side and there's nothing on that side too. The best tool to use to get these nails out is some locking pliers. And all you have to do is just kind of turn it a little bit and, and pull down and they come out fairly easy. But if you use any other thing, it gets kind of hairy. Oh yeah, see I, I did this one last time. So checking the clearance on this side, as you see, it's a straight pathway there. So this is a perfect mounting spot for this fifth wheel. So here's the first mounting plate here. As you see, they give you three holes on each side to mount it. You don't have to use all three, but you really want to try to get as much security with this as you can. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount this about right here. And basically what it's going to do is it's going to sit here and we're going to do this side first because when you go to change your spare tire you want to be on the on the road side of course that way you're not in traffic trying to take this down and you'll see what i'm talking about as we get a little bit closer into it all right all right so so far all we've done is just put this up against the frame and we we want to go ahead and kind of get a point where we're going to Put our holes so I, I, I pushed through already on this side with the with the drill you're definitely gonna need an electric drill to get through this frame I mean I was able to get through with my battery powered one but you want you want something a little bit stronger as Mikey P just recommended to me but let's go ahead and make this hole here and then we'll be good to go All right, so we already have it bolted in at the top. We, we just use two mounting points for now. In the future, I'll probably use additional ones, but for now, I think this is perfectly fine just having two mounting parts, points, excuse me. And what you wanna do next is you wanna get your, your tire carrier and you wanna go ahead and mount it over here. And then all you have to do is just go ahead and get your mounting points positioned up front, drill the holes, and then bolt it, bolt it in on that side. 
and that's pretty much it it's a really easy install i didn't see any instructions online and like i said i'll put po i'll post everything i use here too i just went to lowe's and this is all the hardware that we got for this too and that's it easy easy install i'll show you guys the finished product here and i'm really liking what i see on this thing this is a really good setup all you have to do is just you know unbolt this they give you like a little lock key here for it they always recommend that you grease this too so make sure you put some dielectric grease on it or something like that like that i'm probably going to put some spray paint on all these other screws mikey was like you know these things are going to rust so I, I strongly recommend you put a little bit of paint or spray paint on these and put keep this nice and greased it does come greased from the factory so i would still recommend putting a little bit of extra grease on there but i'll show you guys the finished product here in a second um like i said the only thing you have to really look for is just making sure you don't hit anything in the underbody you, you don't want to puncture anything because sometimes the holding tanks could be in the front or back and i before i even did this install i kind of took some of this you know enclosed underbelly stuff um off and just kind of like looked around the trailer to see where the best point was to install this so just keep that in mind and again you shouldn't have any issues from there all right so we're on the other side here i didn't show you guys all we did was use this 12 volt dewalt and i just used you know this to kind of hold down the back bolt there and that's really all you need to do i mean i put a i put a lock i do put these lock rings on here too and the only only you have to do is you just have to use a washer on the outside like this and then of course you're going to use a washer on this side and then you're going to put the lock key and then you're going to put your your um, bolt there and then that's all you need to do there and this is what's going to look like basically here i just want to show it to you one more time and so and once you get it installed you just need your your dewalt and then just to hold it in the back and you're good to go there I do hand tighten this up too before I start, you know, putting power on it. That way you can get a good, um, a good um, position on it. One thing on this side too, from the factory they do not tighten these bolts up, so make sure you do tighten these up too. We just put a little. We didn't tighten them all the way. We just we're gonna give them a little bit of play. That way it's easy to, you know, kind of. That way it gives it maybe a little bit of flex. I would say. And really, that's really the finished product. We did two mounting points here. I think that's all you need if it's, it's really sturdy i don't think you need to have three bolts i just think they kind of give you these mounting points just in case you know you have something like in the way and you can use a different one but two bolts will be more than enough to hold this up and i mean this is only rated for 100 pounds these are some pretty sturdy bolts so you'll be good there and all we gotta do now is just mount the tire on here and we're good to go jb is taking this spare tire off of there. Yes sir. Now I got some space back here. Yeah, you need all the space for your camper. You're gonna mount this tire on a rack now. So you can have more space for the camper. Especially with the, the goodies. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> what the heck is that? <laughs> You're too strong, bro. <laughs> How did that happen? That ain't supposed to happen. Yeah, it is. We gotta redo that. Goodies. So as you saw in that last video, you can't pull it out too, too much, about right? It's supposed to, it's supposed to lock. I figure about right there is good. All right, Jesse, you wanna mount the spare tire on there? Next thing we have to do is we have to mount the tire onto this rack. So I already have one, just so you can see it. So you basically have a washer on the bottom here. You have your lock nut and then you have your um, nut right here. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it right now. So, put your washer on the bottom, slip this in like that, put your lock nut, and then put your, your nut on, and that's it. Tighten it up, and I'll show you guys how to do the mounting for the tire. 
So here's how the spare tire looks mounted. Um, make sure you don't tighten the bolts down here too much. Mikey P had suggested that and I didn't listen to him. And then we couldn't get this on. I also did use, you know, a cross um, thread here too for the bolts to give me a little bit more support. And then I just tighten these up pretty tight and it's nice and sturdy now. Uh, I would recommend, I don't know if you can see, make sure you grease this. Mikey said use some dielectric grease or use some, maybe it's like some bearing grease, something that doesn't wear out because it does scrape it up pretty good. And they do recommend that you grease these bolts too, which I'm gonna put some grease on these also. But other than that, I mean, that, this is a pretty easy install. I would say with just, you know, kind of looking at everything that we did, this probably would take about an hour to install. I mean, with you having to look under your, your fifth wheel to make sure you have the right mounting points for the, you know, for these supports. And yeah, that was it. But I hope you guys liked the video. I haven't seen a video online like this. So I wanted to kind of show you guys how I did it. And hopefully this will help someone else out. And like I said, I'll put everything in the comments that I use. That way you guys can use it. So thank you guys for watching the video. Peace out, bruh.